Hello, I'm Alex. And in this video, I'm going to be presenting you the computational model I've been developing for the past year as part of my dissertation project. Despite making up more than 50% of the central nervous system, cloud cell morphogenesis still generally remains a mystery to be further researched. Therefore, the general target of this project is to produce a realistic enough glial cell simulation resembling the dataset observed behavior from the retina observer fish, dataset which has been offered by Ryan McDonald's laboratory. There are a few unique characteristics making the zebrafish a particularly useful model organism for this project. The first one is given by their optical transparency in their embryo and larvae state, allowing for high resolution imaging of intercellular processes in vivo. The second reason is given by their very fast retinal development. Therefore, the zebrafish retina reaches maturity within the first few days post-fertilization, allowing for real-time observation of glial cells morphogenesis. Finally, zebrafish genetic manipulation comes at a lower cost compared to other choices. For these reasons, they represent a great studying reference point considering the in vivo zebrafish testing can be a low cost reinforcement to the resulting simulation hypothesis. In vivo researching poses high difficulties in isolating specific environmental cues. It also lacks the ability to precisely control experimental conditions. In addition, limitations in visualizing and quantifying cellular behavior in real time makes it very strenuous to draw conclusions. Fortunately, in silico models overcome such limitations through a manipulable environment. Such computational models enable clear isolation and investigation of various mechanisms driving glial cell behavior. Systematically varying model parameters could result in important cellular morphogenesis-related behavior observations. This simulation has the potential to increase the understanding in complex feedback loops resulting in emergent behavior. Your glial cells are the most prevalent within the retina. They are the primary point of focus for the simulation's research. Their protrusions effectively represent extensions of the body cell membrane. They have a high importance in various cellular processes like tissue formation and in-between cells communication. Their significant mechanical support in the developing retina reinforces the importance they have in tissue formation and function. It is therefore strongly hypothesized by the Bentley lab their protrusions are a form of sensory motor feedback that helps the cell decide where other cells are and who to connect with in the forming tissue. Considering other agent-based simulations approaches to the protrusions representation, the most flexible model seems to be the construction of each agent from smaller linked agents. Therefore, the growth of a protrusion would be represented by adding new protrusion fragments agents in space linked to the previous ones. Collision detection is crucial in such a context. It allows cells to find each other and avoid falling through themselves. An extensive pairing search of possible protrusion collisions would represent the complexity of big O of n squared. Such a brute force approach is infeasible and requires a further study of other simulations approaches within this concerning area. Further analyzing the literature of other biological computational models, a lattice grid partitioning of the space would indeed scale better. However, such a simplistic approach would always demand looping over the entire grid, including the wasted computation over empty spaces. Our models are considering complex systems like special hashing or bounding volume hierarchies. Unfortunately, the increased complexity in the implementation of such mechanisms makes them unfeasible when also considering their hard limitations. Therefore, the simulation's approach to the collision detection system is given by a subclass of these bounding volume hierarchies, namely octrees or more generally named in the literature quatres. Their structure allows for skipping regions of space not containing any objects while being more balanced than a typical bounding volume hierarchy system through having a roughly equal number of objects within each tree branch. Their implementation is a lot more elegant than competing counterparts, being explained at a high level by a self-recursive node structure. The produced simulation shall focus on the inner plexiform layer of the retina. This very production dense layer is not directly responsible for the initial migration and spacing of the Mueller glial cells. However, the maintenance of spacing and organization may be influenced by the protrusions. They provide structural support and are affected by various signaling factors. Although other similar agent-based simulations in the literature tend to have a preference towards C++ with OpenGL, this model has been developed using Java with JavaFX as an abstraction over 3D APIs. Java is a high-level cross-platform language having a well-established ecosystem and supporting community, while also being widely taught in academia and still highly performant as a result of modern JVM implementations. As a result of the employed development stack choice, an OOP-oriented style of coding is predominant. The simulation mainly contains entities for cells, 
quadris, and data manipulation techniques like machine learning implementations. The Purdue simulation can express meaningful emergent behavior while still being capable of matching the agent individual behavior. As the system may replicate the overall emerging dataset behavior while not necessarily matching that of each individual neural glial cell. From a graphical user interface perspective, the created application provides an interactive cell viewer allowing live interactivity during simulation, which can be played and paused at demand. It also offers the possibility to adapt various constants controlling the simulation's behavior and then plot the resulting metrics against the original dataset. The simulation also provides on-demand retraining by allowing the user to optimize the constants for better matching the dataset expression from the initial set of chosen parameters. Initially, TypeScript and WebGL were used for fast exploratory iterations, which concluded the logic behind attaching protrusions to the surface of a Miller glial cell. After reaching the expected performance bottleneck, the project was migrated to the more performant platform of Java. Finally, protrusions ended up being made out of completely autonomous protrusion fragments as a result of not being able to match the dataset observed behavior with oversimplified singular protrusion formations. Quatris have been through a few iterative approaches of uh, exploration too. Careful consideration was needed in making sure performance stays optimal as little unfortunate choices could easily propagate into nested inefficiencies. The most important takeaways are in regards with optimizing the three paths traversal to locally cache search checkpoints and to have the cells be aware of their bounded quad tree nodes also being in sync with the contained cell fragments, allowing for quick insertions, deletions, and collision verification. Various AI techniques were used in trying to optimize the simulation's constants to resemble the dataset observed metrics. Proving a fitting set of parameters by finding it through optimization would satisfy the requirement of the simulation's capacity to engage in emergent expression. However, exclusive care was also needed in making sure the found solution was both matching the emergent and individual behavior patterns. As the found set does not have a unique solution reaching an optima, in fact, the firstly found parameter set was only mimicking an apparently emergent expression while not necessarily representing the individually expected patterns in any singular Miller glial cell. After failing in trying to properly optimize the expressed curvature according to the dataset metrics with genetical AI algorithms and off-the-shelf machine learning approaches, a custom hill climbing optimization implementation turned out successful. The algorithm's approach is in using the parameters themselves as the weight of the solution. The employed local search is rather systematic through the usage of binary search durations, minimizing the expressed error. Initially, the approach ended up exploiting various simulation bugs in reaching out the set goal with minimal error expression. Therefore, this also helped in adjusting properly consistent expected simulated behavior. Running different simulation variations of pair parameters, the study of standard deviation of Miller glial cells volume occupation has been noted. The idea behind this exploration was to possibly observe any relevant patterns that could have strong impact in the Mueller glial cell's morph morphology. Certainly enough, a pattern did emerge, suggesting the height the Mueller glial cells ends up being at maturity state is strongly influential in the resulting standard deviation percentage of the occupied volume of the simulated cells in the retina. In other words, this model predicts the variation in the heights of mature Miller glial cells may be responsible of their spatial distribution uniformity in the retina. While having provided a foundation for further development, this project is in a rather infancy stage compared to its future expression potential. As a result, its expressed findings are still not to be immediately taken at face value. There are still plenty of limitations this model has. Although it has a clear time expression map to how ours force fertilization, it still misses a clear dimension dimensionality of elements mapping. Objects in the simulation are still of abstract size units and this must be addressed in future extensions. However, the simulation's current development state has proved its capacity in resembling early realistic patterns in both individual and collective agents context. While having already proved this capacity in sparkling further scientific discussion into emergent properties of individual mirror glial cells, the model can be extended to resemble future properties of individual agents, increasing the emergent complexity expression. Further development of the system will be continued, and I hope we can soon better understand the Mueller glial cells as a result of the simulation's eventual future scientific publications.